three, Mark Tran, the Mid-City Community mm -hmm. Action Network Youth Engagement and Leadership Model at Table. We're a community collaborative in City Heights, San Diego. It's a uh, urban community located in the center of the city. Uh, we have roughly 90,000 residents that live within a 6.2 square mile radius. Uh, we're surrounded by um, three major freeways, so we have a lot of health disparities within our community itself. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the, um, the model that we use in terms of engaging young people. And it's, uh, well, my name is Marco Filasuela. I'm 17 years old and I've been with the Mid-City Camp for two years now. And I started with, uh, I heard about it through a community service project, which was just like the youth kickoff. And it was like on a rainy day, and I was like, I, was like, oh, no, I need community service, might as well go. So I went, and they had different activities at the, at, at the event. And one game that like, caught my attention was how rich neighborhoods could get what they want, while poor neighborhoods have to struggle what they want. And what I mean by that is like, if a rich, neighbor, if a rich neighborhood wants a park, go get it. They don't, they don't have to like hassle anybody, they don't have to like go through, through any problems with it. But if an inner city neighborhood wants it, they, they, uh, they just make them run around in circles, like, and they, they put, the government puts the stuff in it that they don't want, like a dumpster or a nuclear power plant, which, you know, like, it's uh, dangerous for the environment, you know, and it affects people in the, in the neighborhood. Um, hi, I'm Rosa. I'm with um, 10th grade. I'm 15 years old. And um, I began with Mid City Can two years ago when I was 13. Um, my brother told me to come, so I would go. And um, I started going to my first meeting like right after the kickoff event. That was my first time I went. And when I, when I was back then, I was really shy. I was really like, I hate talking out loud. I hate like being loud, and I would never talk. Um, but then later, like, I started going to these meetings that started interesting me, like the Momentum Team. And um, the Momentum Teams, I don't know, Mark, oh yeah, Mark was going to explain, they're like 10 outcomes that we found in the community that we want to change. And they're like the planning of what, how we're going to change it. And I started going to Access to Healthcare, Peace Promotion, and Residence, because those were the main ones I got interested in. Um, my experience in there were really good. They were really open to the youth. They wanted to hear everything you wanted to say. Hi, my name is Angelie Hernandez. I'm 18 and I've been working with Mid-City Camp for a year and a half. And I was introduced to Mid-City Camp through a friend. She invited me to a community meeting. It was a, a house meeting that was led by youth, but I thought that we were just going to talk about the community. So I just decided to go. And when I got there, I was surprised because there was it was run by youth and they had youth activities. So I was really engaged and interested and that got me to go continue going on. And so um, that, like, they helped me build um, different relationships and they also introduced me to the outcomes. After that, I decided to um, join the youth council and um, I've been going to their meetings currently. Right now, I'm a, I'm a youth resident intern and so, like, I help set up the meetings and contact the youth. And um, I'm also into the momentum teams, the school attendance momentum team and the improving transportation in City Heights. And I decided to join those because I was really passionate about those because those affect me and my family. Also, like working with Mid City Can, they um they have uh, they have um, brought me through, to a lot of trainings, and those trainings um they helped me build um my skills with youth and adults. So, um, my name is Angel Quintero, and I'm 17 years old, and I'm a senior. And I was first introduced by I'm Mid City Can by my brother. Well, I call him my brother, but actually my best friend, Marcos. And since then, I've been in Mid City Can for about a year or so. And through it all, I learned the process of power. There's two types of power: people power. I mean, money power and people power. Money power is essentially when the community or the neighborhood has enough money, they can get whatever they want. And people power is like when the residents have to unite to gain a voice and get what they want. They have to work for it. And through it all, we recently we've been working to get a skate park in City Heights because we're trying to promote a healthy, a healthy environment and safety. About it. Well, what I started is was because I um, I graduated from high school and I went to college, and so college was it's not far, but it's kind of far, so I had to take the bus. 
And every time I take the bus, it took a really long time. Plus, I didn't go to college every day, so I had to pay like five dollars every day to come to and right. back and forth. And so I thought, you know, there has to be a better way, a better system, you know, to change this. Yeah, there has to be better transportation. So we do have a few college students that come back and work with us, but it's our main focus is middle school and high school.